One of the things that I learned in life early on is to avoid taking the easy route. So many people in life want to do the easy thing, want something handed to them, want something to be simple. And they think that that's going to be the best way to receive things or the best way to get things done, but it actually isn't. I'm a firm believer in taking the hard route and working hard for what you want and actually taking the steps and putting the work in to make things happen because I feel that the whole point of working hard and the whole point of continuing to strive for something is not the destination, it's the process. It's who you become during the process of trying to achieve your goals. And so when people take the easy route, it's like you're taking a shortcut. You're you're jumping ahead. You miss so much along the journey. When you take the hard route, it's like you're getting all of the value that you can retain and later on take that and do other things with. And so having a goal is one thing and accomplishing your goal is another thing. But the most important thing is the process to getting there, the process to accomplishing goals, the hard work the determination, the focus, the discipline that you have to apply every single day, that's where the real value comes and it's built within you. And so later on in life, when things happen, when you have other goals, you already have that within you to go accomplish that. But if you're constantly looking for the easy way, it's actually you're lessening the person that you can become. You're not able to achieve the true potential of the person that's within you if you're constantly trying to like find the easy route. So look for opportunities to take something on challenging and work through it. If something is not making you feel really challenged and it's not a big enough challenge for you, it's within those moments that you have to dig deep and you really find out what you're made of. And in the process of that, you become a stronger and better person. And in turn, in time, when you have more goals, which you will, especially if you're a person who starts to accomplish goals, you start to see, okay, I can make something happen. I can accomplish a goal. And so you're gonna have more goals. But how are you going to approach some goals? What if these next goals you set up, there is no opportunity for you to take the easy route? Then what are you going to do? You don't have the tools and you don't have the value within you to overcome those challenges. And they become difficult later. And those are the things that you could hit roadblocks on. So, But if you start in the beginning looking for the hard route, looking for the challenging opportunities out there and going in and into them and learning from your failures and looking learning from your setbacks if you approach that and actually seek those out it makes you a stronger better person later on so don't be a person that's trying to go out there and take the easy route or trying to look for a quick win or trying to look for a quick fix anything worth of value takes time whether it's a relationship whether it's a job a career uh, a business goal education everything takes time Right. We think that everything could just happen overnight sometimes and maybe something comes into our life and we're like, okay, this is amazing. This is a blessing. And it is. But it takes time to solidify that. It takes time to reinforce that, whatever that is, because if not, you'll lose it. And so that's why you have to build and work on yourself more than anything. And you do that through taking the hard route. You do that through putting in the work, through sitting down for hours and hours working on something failing on it, making mistakes on it, going back, fixing it, reiterating on it, and then going forward and accomplishing that. That process is the most valuable thing that you can do. That's more valuable than anything. So, um, But a lot of people want to look for a shortcut. They want to cheat their way through life. right? They want to look for any opportunity to cheat, any opportunity to jump ahead, to skip something, but you're only hurting yourself. You're only creating damage in yourself. Right? That's only going to get you so far. But if you want real value in your life, if you really want to be a game changer, if you really want to have something within you that's strong no matter what you're facing, then you want to take the tough route. You want to work for what you get. You want to work and earn everything. And so that's why I'm a big believer in outworking everybody. I'm a big believer in earning everything. I'm a big believer in bringing on a challenge that intimidates me because I know that I can do it. Right? I know I can. And I tell myself I can. Even if it's something that I don't even know about yet. If I have to spend months educating myself before I even delve into it that's the process that thing that you can't cheat through you can't skip through you have to actually put in the work so I remember when I was in prison and you know I finally just start to get the idea of getting out like what are the possibilities what do I need to do in order to get out once I my mind got into that state like okay now I'm a, I'm a solution orientated thinker I'm like okay what do I need to do get to get out okay so I need to First of all, I need to work on myself. Number one, I need to work on myself. So I started to study every single day. 
I started to do self-help programs. I started to ask questions. I started to do everything I can to work on myself. And physical, physical was a part of that, right? Because physical and mental are connected. So I needed to make sure that my mind and body was strong. So every day I worked on myself. And then I needed to find out what are the next steps? What can I do to get out of here? Parole board? Do I need to go back to the courts and fight my case? What do I need to do? And I started to look into that. And I took everything that I learned, everything that I had become, the resilient person that I had created, and I started to delve into opportunities to get out. Right? And you're going to get denied. You're going to get shot down. You're going to get um, disappointed. But guess what? The resilient person that I had developed was able to handle that to where I became persistent and I just didn't give up. And eventually, if you keep going and you don't give up and you keep working at it, you're going to win. And so that's what I kept doing. And, I, and in turn, I was able to get out of prison three years before I was ever even imagining to get out of prison. And so it shows that if you put in the work, you can have something greater than you can even imagine in the moment. Back then, I didn't think I'd be out here today. And it happened because I didn't take the easy route. And in prison, there is no easy way out. Right? It's all hard. So it forced me into that. But now I translate that out here to the person I am today and see that, OK, I get results when I put in the work. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not just calling around asking everybody for an easy win, an easy way out, an easy hustle. No, I'm actually trying to put in the work so that I can become a better person and sustain you know, the success. Me being forced into having to work for what I wanted, which was my freedom, it put me in that mindset. So I wanted to share that with you. And you don't have to go through that. You don't have to go through prison. You don't have to go through a situation like you could do that now. You could say no to the easy route and you could say yes to the, to the difficult one that's going to make you a better person. So... Stop going through life looking for an easy route. Stop going through life looking for a way to get something handed to you or, or an easy situation. You know, embrace those hard situations. Embrace those challenges because that's where you're going to be able to become the best version of yourself. I'm always trying to look for ways to make the impossible possible, right? And if anything at all, and if I fail on that, on that journey, the impossible route, if I fail, guess what? That's okay. I'm going to come out of that route. And just imagine the person that I'm going to be. So now when I go into that hard route, I can get right through it. I know myself. I know what I need to do to get things done. I know how I need to learn. I know what contacts I need to reach out to. I know how to set myself up each day for success. And so don't try to take that easy route. It only makes you weaker. right? It makes you more vulnerable later on when things get tough that you have no control over. So thank you for stopping in um, for some more life advice. I'm here every week. And I'm always giving out new information, always giving out new insights and wisdom um, as I continue to learn as well. And if you have any um, specific things you want me to talk about, feel free to put it in the comments. Until next time, peace.